you're always the one reaching out, you're always the one making plans, you're always the one checking in, you're always the one calling, you're always the one putting comments on their posts on Instagram, you're always the one liking them, you're always the one reposting their content. You Welcome back to the channel. If you are seeing my face for the very first time, my name is Shay Fumi and welcome to the channel. Do not make the last time I've come to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button or you turn on your post notification bell so anytime I post a new video, you'll be the first to get notified. And to my returning subscribers, you guys rock. Thank you for the love, thank you for the support, and thank you for always tuning in. So today we're having a sit down video. We're just going to talk, like, just have some conversations on friendship see i realize a lot of people have things bothering them when it comes to friendship when i go on my tiktok i just see wild things people say about people that they call their friends and so i want to just talk about friendship in few minutes so if it's something you think you would like sit back relax enjoy and let's go right into it so friendship is one of the most um, beautiful parts of life it's one of the most beautiful part of life but i say this for a fact not all friendship are meant to last some people are in your life at a particular point for a reason some friendship are for some seasons in your life like some friendship god plant plants them into your life to hold your hands in that particular season that you are and when that season is over they are done so because we expect so much of people for some friends that just come and they have to go we get disappointed and we get hurt along the process so today we are going to be talking about the importance of evaluating your friendship the red flags to look out for in friendships and why letting um, and why letting go when you feel like this friendship is no longer healthy or it's no longer empowering or the emotional response in this friendship is gone then i think it's time for you to evaluate your friendship so i'm going to start with the importance of evaluating friendship so reason why you need to evaluate your friendship i'm going to look at my phone because i note out some points here and i don't want to mess it out so mutual respect and trust does this person respect you does this person trust you is the respect mutual are you the only one being respectful are you the only one at the receiving end of the respect and vice versa so one of the reasons why you need to evaluate your friendship then support do they support you see then your friend should be able to support you both in the good and bad times so do they support you only when the times are good or do they also support you I'm coming killer or do they also support you when things are bad another point that I know say is genuine happiness do they genuinely or are they genuinely happy for you when good things happen to you or when you have good news are you always eager to share your good news with your friends the moment something good happens to your life and you are holding back sharing this thing or sharing the news with your friends then definitely you know something is wrong in the friendship or in the relationship you should always be excited to share good news with your friends but the moment you start holding back with holding with holding stuff to yourself then it is time for you to reevaluate your friendship another point that i know down here is open and honest communications if you're doing something good your friend should praise you then if you're doing something bad also they should be able to critique you see critic criticism doesn't come like when because they hate you when i see my friend doing something bad or doing something that does not align with their values or maybe they just get lost doing some things that i feel like no this is not the person that i know this is not the person that used to be my friend you should be able to come talk to them openly communication is essential in in friendship look at Kela, she's distracting me so that is why i think you need to reevaluate your friendship then questions to ask yourself does this person make me happy does this person dream in are we growing together or are we growing apart so that is the point then now i'm going to talk about signs to know that this person is not your friend like see 
the signs are always there you know that this person is not your friend but you just don't want to accept it or you're just in denial yeah or you like that person so much that you don't want to be true to yourself either of those things that i just mentioned so what are the signs that you need to know that this person is truly not your friend so three signs that they are not your friend one one-sided efforts like you're always the one reaching out you're always the one making plans you're always the one checking in you're always the one calling you're always the one putting comments on their posts on instagram you're always the one liking them you're always the one reposting their content you are always the one doing everything then that is number one sign that they are not your friend number two lack of support they don't support you like your your feelings are, are not always valid to them they don't care what you are doing they don't care like they, they're not just supporting you in any way for every time you support them they don't reciprocate the support to you that is another sign that they are not your friends then jealousy or competition instead of celebrating your wins they're always looking for faults and everything you do when you're like oh god i'm so happy this happened to me they're always looking like, oh, it also happened to me. When it's time for them to be celebrating you, they are making reference to what has happened in the past to them. They are not your friends. Your friends should celebrate. And when it's time to celebrate you, the focus should be on you and you alone. Toxic behavior. Always manipulating you. Negative comments. I don't know. I don't know how people stay with friends that are toxic because I really cannot relate. I have one or two friends and I'm so grateful for them. Because when you go on Twitter, you see people say exposing secrets between friends. And I'm like, how did you guys get to this point? How did you get to this point where you're not coming online to call out each other? What level of toxicity are the friendship reach for you to not start doing, dragging yourself online? My last and final, I think that this is a very short vlog. My last and final point, letting go of a friendship. See, let's normalize outgrowing friendship. Like we should normalize outgrowing friendship. It is it is very, very normal. I think we've gotten to that stage or that age of our life where you should normalize letting go of friendship that are not beneficial. See, this is not because this is not because you want to I don't want to open the paper. This is this is not because you are demanding or anything. Any friendship that does not benefit you. You should let it go. Like, friendship is not a do or die affair. People are letting go of their marriage because it's toxic. So why not? What is holding you back letting go of friendship? Like, I, I really don't get that point. Number two things why you should let go of friendship. When there's distance gradually, like, once you don't reach out, they don't reach out. And then the, the moment you decide, that, okay, I'm not reaching out to this person, you can just start falling apart because you're no longer making efforts because you're the person that makes efforts and the moment you're no longer making efforts you guys are just going apart let it go don't hold on to something that is not there honestly i don't know why this is i just feel like people need to hear this thing so now you're not going to turn 25 but you not to friendship that does not add up to you you're not to friendship that is draining you mentally emotionally focus on self-growth like, focus on yourself. Let go of the friendship. Fill the gap with positive relationship and self-care. Take care of yourself. Be happy. A lot of people like going out with their friends. People don't like going out alone. But you can always make new friends. You can always make new friends. So let's go of the other person that is, that is training you. Especially if you make efforts communicating to this person. Like, all oh, this thing they are doing. I don't like it. I realize that we are going apart. And the person does not really see give and help. Come on. Let it go. So I'm just going to wrap it, wrap it up with this note that I have here. Friendship are supposed to add value to your life, not take away from it. Evaluating your friendship is not selfish. It's not. It's necessary. And if you have to let go, trust that it opens space for healthier and more meaningful connections. I hope with this few points of mine, I've been able to convince you to let you know that you should let go of friendship that is draining you. And if you are, uh, if you want this video to this end, let me know in the comment section. Have you ever had any friend or have you ever been in a friendship 
and that you feel like the best thing for you to do is just to just get out of this friendship because you feel like no this is this is not working and you don't want to force or push it any longer let me know or if you have a friend at the moment and you feel like you really don't know what steps to do or the friendship is one-sided let me know if there's anything bothering you in regards to your friendship drop it in the comment section on this list we listen we don't judge <laughs> on this place we listen we don't judge out of this few points of mine i've been able to convince you that friendship is not a do or die affair so let's go of that friendship that is stressing you i know there are some amazing people out there that are worth celebrating i know but there are some at the same time that are stressing you and i feel like mm -mm, it's not worth it we should not be doing that we should not be doing that in 2025 everything should end in 2024 honestly take your time relax have fun self-care take care of yourself and you see more healthy relationship more healthy friendship coming to you i love you guys so much if you watch this video to an end drop a love emoji for me in the comment section so